fine. All right. I don't know whether the Canucks have made it to the Stanley Cup Finals. I hope they have. But looking behind the curtain, now you know. We, we don't know whether they've made it either. So I'm watching a baseball game. Get it? Fine. Freaking flashpoint. So, flashpoint. Okay, when I talked about fear itself, I, you know, I could pretty much explain basically what the storyline was. Mm, evil hammers. Okay, so what is Flashpoint about? Well, it's uh, 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 Flash is the main character, and there might be a point to it at some point. I don't really know. Uh, I, I. I I know that it is an alternate universe storyline and the characters are being altered drastically um, in the thought process of say an age of apocalypse where characters were not like anything we knew in the Marvel universe at the time which would be great but they're not stopping books while they're in this flashpoint universe uh, the books are continuing Batman Green Lantern uh, what other DC titles come out? Um, oh, right, right, right. Uh, uh, Booster Gold, right. So these don't actually stop. They're continuing. They're going to put out all of these mini series in addition to it. 15 mini series. And that, I guess, is the point. You're going to lose your money. <laughs> No, seriously. Okay, we do know some stuff. Uh, I was I was being mildly facetious. No, actually not. You're going to lose your freaking mind when you see all of the miniseries they're coming out with. Fifteen, by the way. Um, now, what do we know? We know these two comics so far. Um, now granted, this is the middle, this is the end of April. Um, this miniseries comes out, or this, uh, it's a uh, five-issue miniseries comes out starting in May. Okay, so... So far, all we know is what we have found in this comic and this comic right here. And that we're going to, that the DC Universe, this multiverse that is structured, um, will have, the, the center is the main DC Earth. Everything evol revolves around it. So if this one is altered, all these other Earths are altered as well. So, uh, because of that, Flash is being warned that some horrible future is going to happen. I don't know. I don't understand it either. Um, if you like alternate universe storylines, you'll probably love this. Batman's like a, a gambling pool hall shark. I don't know. I, uh, Cyborg is some sort of rebellion leader uh, in the greatest hero in America and uh, the Aquaman is a badass which which we knew that we knew that because Aquaman is a badass um, Wonder Woman has a sword I don't know it, I think DC did this as a way to try to combat fear itself the problem is is unlike Blackest Night which was pretty easy sell. Oh my god, there's zombie superheroes. Well, that's pretty easy to sell. This, on the other hand, would be very difficult to get people interested. The Flash does not pull as easy as a, uh, as a Green Lantern does. Um, I, I'm really concerned at how this will do. And I think DC was moving in such a good direction, too. So, um, we have two big giant crossovers coming out this summer. Uh, they're going to equate for somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, of 30 to 40 three to four issue miniseries. There is something like an additional 10 uh, to 12 one shots, and then the actual big giant uh, crossover books themselves. Um, this there's one good thing about DC. They're going to be 2.99 each. That's good. However, uh, man, that's a lot of comics to throw on top of it. Uh, almost nothing is being canceled. They were just publishing more. I don't even know where I'm going to put this crap. I mean, awesome comics. Uh, so, 
uh, I hope you're gonna go mow some lawns or uh, you know uh, take groceries for old ladies or uh, uh, walk dogs because you don't have enough money to have these crossovers um, oh I think I heard Adam Dunn uh, hit a home run I'm sure uh, so uh, my name is Lance Johnson uh, the one dog this is comic Illuminati and you can consider yourself enlightened.